want to follow up on the uh, previous gentleman's line of, line of questioning. Um, if, uh, a handful of questions. If, long, if uh, Launch Complex 39A is run as a multi-user facility, I understand the commercial companies involved want to make it multi-user. Has NASA uh, has NASA completed fully converting Launch Complex 39B into a multi-user facility? And if not, what is the remaining cost of doing so? Uh, and if so, can we assume that no more taxpayer funds are needed to modify 39B for multiple users? The work to convert PAT 39B is not fully complete, but I don't have the cost figures or where we are in that scheduled process. Uh, if you like, I could provide that for the record. Thank you. Um, in, in addition, can you talk about uh, uh, how those costs um, compare to the $1.2 million of maintenance costs that you uh, just spoke about related to uh, PAD 39A? The cost for conversion of 39B or ultimately for the cost of maintenance? Both. Uh, I don't have the specifics on that, but again, I can provide that for the record. But I'm certain that an active launch pad would cost more than to uh, to operate and maintain than the 1.2 million to maintain a mothballed launch pad. Okay, thank you. The rest of my questions were covered. Thank you.